asked you to choose one word to describe yourself, what word would you choose? Funny? Party girl? Smart? Kind? I think the one word that best encapsulates all that Abby goodness in the English language is probably the word nerd. According to my Merriam-Webster dictionary app, um, they, they use the following definition for the word nerd. An unstylish, unattractive, or socially inept person, especially one slavishly devoted to intellectual or academic pursuits. That seems a little harsh to me. Does that seem a little harsh to you? Here, take a minute, read it over, we'll reconvene momentarily. Are you back? Okay, great. When I choose the word nerd, I certainly never would have thought to use that specific definition to describe myself. So let me explain what I mean when I say I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd because I get overly excited about stuff that's not considered mainstream. I'm a nerd because I can make a Bob Ross reference while discussing the finer points of cinematography in the Harry Potter movies while simultaneously quoting uh, Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. Look at all the happy trees in the Forbidden Forest! Shiny! I'm a nerd because I collect nerdy things. You are an enemy of the Daleks. You must be destroyed. I'm a nerd because I read. Like a lot. Like I read all the time. I'm a nerd because I follow Leonard Nimoy, Joss Whedon, Donnie Wahlberg, Rupert Grant, Nathan Fillion, Bobak Ferdowsi, and Jeopardy! All on Twitter. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm a nerd because the only reason I wanted to do this specific topic for this video blog was so I could show off my brand new sonic screwdriver. Thanks, Jenna. Hey, what? What's the matter with... I'll fix it. So, Mr. Miriam and Webster, I think it's high time that you change your definition of what a nerd really is. Try this one on for size. Thank you. Oh yeah, uh, live long and prosper.